Hello, we will see today density plot versus histogram and we will use R Studio to do this. Uh, histogram is very old and uh, well tested uh, graph for using a single continuous variable. That is we use only single variable, not uh, as something versus something like, like a scatter plot but we use only single variable like uh, say blood pressure or blood sugar level or age of a person like that something which is a continuously variable uh, we will use r studio so first uh, i will show some basic histogram so in this case what i have done is i created randomly uh, generated and normally distributed 100 points and created histogram of from that points so from this we can see that uh, between 0 and 0.5 there are 11 numbers from 0.5 to 1 there are 16 numbers so it is very easy and tangible to understand how histogram works but the main problem with histogram is breaks. This is the same data, but we change the interval from 0.5 to 1. So all numbers between 0 and 1 are included in this bar. So there are 27 numbers. So if we change the breaks, it is very difficult to interpret the data and if there are lot of roads say million roads then it's become very difficult to determine how many breaks we have to use so we can use a density plot like this which shows continuously changing and this is now possible because of a lot of computational uh, algorithms we have in density plot if you can see at the bottom there are some brown lines so each line represents a number or a value. So this uh, single line at two represents a value. So there are this many values and when these values are aggregated together, the density is higher. So this is the function ca called rug. So we can use this function to create these type of lines and it gives us uh, some visual representation how these uh, lines or this variable is distributed throughout our course then this is one of the example of bimodal distribution shown in histogram as well as uh, density plot <coughs> as we can see uh, it's very difficult to judge the bimodal or complicated distribution in histogram but in density plot we can see it very clearly then when we use uh, density plot there are many type of distributions we can use uh, so what i created in this example is uh, i created randomly distributed and binomial numbers 100 numbers uh, each number has one trial so it will be 0 or 1 and 0.9 is a proportion so whenever I created those 100 numbers roughly 90 numbers will be 1 and 10 numbers will be 0 so I created graph this is a histogram with that numbers so these are 10 percent zeros and 90 percent ones uh, same data is represented in uh, density plot which shows a different type of distributions these are distributions we can use so it is a gaussian distribution this is a rectangular distribution and this is triangular distribution these are uh, some other distributions which we do not use that commonly most commonly used distribution is gaussian uh, if you see this distribution, the tail goes into a territory which is below zero, which is not possible here. So we have to be a little bit careful about uh, interpreting the tail 
because it can go into some non tangible or not possible territory to minimize the problem of this tail going into non possible territory we can change the width of this so we can change whatever the width we feel suitable so this is the same data but the width or tail is now narrower here density plots are uh, suitable in many instances and they are better than histogram so this is one of the example from mtcars uh, data set so these are number of cylinders and with number of that uh, number of cylinders we distribute the miles per gallon as we can see easily that if that there are four cylinders then there is uh, more mileage and with eight cylinders the mileage is less so this type of distribution uh, visualization is very difficult in histogram but with density plot we can do it very clearly another advantage of density plot is compare two values uh, together with different colors and different visualization so this is just an example of a uh, taxi fare data so this is amount in dollars that is up to 80 dollars uh, green is a fair amount and uh, red is total amount including toll taxes and tips and whatever additional to the fare so we can see the distribution of fare and distribution of total amount and we can easily interpret how it looks like very well in density plot and it is very difficult to get this type of distribution for large data set in histogram so i think you get some good idea about density plot if you like this video please subscribe thank you